Look at this big, beautiful boy. Oh my god. Look how thick that trunk is. His tusks aren't even attached. What is going on there? What the hell? Get out of here. Angory Toms hunt for treasure and riches. Welcome, everybody, to the Angory Tom Show. Is this how we speak now? No. Command your army and hunt for treasure, no matter the cost. Attack of the terrible tribe. Watch out, your forces are being ambushed by the terrible tribe. Defend yourself and your well-earned treasure. Oh, the fun Elefante is gone. Although this one, kind of ready to go. We've got Spear Boys, we've got Samurai, uh, Boneman. Man, I just, I just love me a good, a good boat. A good boat into a line of dudes. Is that going to work or do they get bone maged? They might just get bone maged. I feel like they've kind of like nerfed the boats a bit. They used to throw them forwards a lot more. Uh... Okay, they're still pretty good. Grand scheme of things. Oh my god, there are secret raptors in the trees. Uh, maybe you need to come in a fraction. Something like that. Uh, okay, right. Now what are we doing? There are tree raptors, which are bad. Oh, those little flanking, flanking forces. Uh, guns? No. Well, like, we're, we're going to mix it up. We're going to ban any units that we normally use. Oh, I believe that when we ship Tom's purple and smells like rainbow shepherd. <laughs> what if we, like, tank these guys out with, like, blunderbusses over there? I feel like that's probably enough. Uh, if we've got, like, leftover points, that just means that we're good at games, right? Oh my god, that center just gets killed by those guys real bad. Uh, Blunderbuss is not really doing a lot. They were just terrible. Uh, bomb friend. Maybe you want to throw a bomb? Oh god, this is a bad time to be a bomb friend. alley -oop. Not terrible. Actually, no, absolutely awful. Uh, how do bombs do against Elefante? Uh, maybe good. Probably not. Okay, right, it's the elephant versus the bombs. Uh, yeah, we maybe we need a few more, a few more friends. We're dead. I think just like, what else? What's like a good like ranged unit that we never? How about Vlad's? Do like a backup Vlad team to come in and do do the dirty? Bombs on sticks. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of the blunderbusses. They seem bad. And just wave assault. This could work. Like, the mid definitely goes our way. Uh, we've got... We're quite bomb-heavy, this this match. Oh, my God. Okay. Rapto the Raptor. Oh, they're good. They're real good. <gasps> Vlad just impaling someone. Okay, now... We just have a lot of bombs. There's guys with oars. Vlad's getting up in there, poking with his big old stabber. It still just looks like a giant pencil to me, but that's fine. Can these bomb boys actually do anything? Oh my god, they took the elephant down pretty fast. Oh my god, the bombs. Okay, too many bombs are not good because they <laughs> kill themselves, but look at that power team. Good job, everyone. The boarding party. What is this? You land on an island uh, to attempt to locate hidden treasure when you're suddenly attacked by a boarding party of hired warriors. Defend yourself. Okay, so I've got a couple of sword casters, kind of like a savage party, turning up. We've got like a knight, we've got a whole load of shields, the squires, berserkers, very cool. Uh, bombs on sticks, and then like a second wave to maybe come on in. Those berserkers are gonna be a pain, so it means that we can't really do a lot of shooting. I'm, I'm liking the bomb build. We're going to go heavy on the bombs today. Uh, bomb guys up there, and then let's get some chieftains. Okay, bomb sticks. Uh-oh, Valkyrie's already in. Okay, the bombs are going. The bombs have killed almost all of our troops immediately. The chieftains, pretty aggressive. Not sure if I love them or not. I think the sword casters are the ones who are really doing the work here. What the hell? That was fast. I, I, I want to try that again. Like, I feel like we, we cheesed it too much. I feel like just less guys. All we need is just, like, minor distractions. Like, if we take protectors, how often do we use protectors? 
And then we'll have like a little posse of protectors up there. Are, are the swordcasters? Oh no, the swordcasters instantly dead. All it takes is a berserker to touch a swordcaster and it kills them. So we give the swordcasters an extra little buffer. Oh, okay, Valkyrie's down. Okay, all the fast stuff is down. Now it's kind of like shield wars. Oh god, they are really close to our swordcaster. Man, but if he can get, like, turn the flank and hit them in the back, which he is doing fantastically. Oh my god, like, how many points did we spend? We must have had, like, a, a couple of thousand left over. Man, just those swordcasters just doing such work. Ooh. Okay, I feel like that's a pretty fair win. Town surprise! The hidden treasure was fool's gold and painted glass. You're exploring a nearby small town in search for clues to an actual treasure when you're attacked by the town guard. Whole load of halberdiers, uh, Chuko News, and the old musket team. We've got a Shogun and Fuzzer Dar friends. I feel like we just gotta like see how well these dudes do just initially. Okay, they do good shouting. The the shouters are just not gonna gonna hold up well at all. The shogun, he's doing sword behind the back style, which I never really love. Ooh, put down. Okay, right. We need some added distractions. Chieftains? How does that sound? Just all chieftain all the time. Okay, good blocking. Man, the chieftains tore those guys apart. They then did get shot pretty badly. Uh, but Shogun into this squad, pretty good. Down here, these chieftains did amazingly against the Halberdiers. I guess just like they are real aggro. Man, maybe should be using chieftains a little bit more. Ooh. Man, I really like the uh, Halberdiers helmets, but wow, we have nailed this. Too easy. The Necromancer. It turns out the treasure was in the town bank all along. And it was stolen while you're fighting the guards. Whoever stole it crossed the countryside and left behind a necromancer and his undead army. Okay, we are up against the Skelly Brigade, a healer, a couple of vamps, a lot of archers, executioners, and a little Skelly flanking force. Okay, well, have you left me enough space for a boat, or have you purposely made it that I can't put a boat there? That's quite like a sneaky build to, uh, you know, block good boat spots. We can do it. Monks? How well do monks do against executioners? It's been a long time since we've seen Chuko News. I feel like we could get a couple of those guys in. Okay. Boaty, how you doing? Pretty... pretty good. Does kind of KO all of those samurai. Uh, man, the monks just pushed the executioners away and then they dived in themselves. Rip. Rip. Ripperoni. Uh, ooh, god, bridge executioners, pretty bad. Okay, this is definitely, definitely gonna be a harder map. Uh, okay, gun line, pretty good. How are these guys gonna do? We'll get outshot 100% by skelly archers, but... Oh god, yeah, this is bad. We've got like a Chukonu and like a floor boy. Ooh. Okay, maybe boat wasn't the call. Chukonu's a bit expensive, monks, very expensive. Let's try shouters. <laughs> Do we just bring loads of blunderbusters? Like, you know, take out the old archer brigade. We have to be careful of the catapults. But, ooh. How is... God, they are not dealing with those vampires very well. Okay, it's a bit of chaos. We are still getting shot the hell up. We really need to deal with those archers. They do, like, just the DPS they get from them is insane. Not the one. Okay, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get, like, a little bit sneaky here. They might make it across. Nope. <laughs> nope. We've got that little fighting force. Now we've got to deal with this, like, mid-section. Maybe we don't shout because that pushes people back. We need something that's just going to, like, kill a lot of this stuff really quickly. Uh, we're going to have to have to bring a dragon, I think. Like, when, when did we last see a Hwacha? 
God, watch archers are kind of bad these days. Um, and just regular archers. Okay. Oh, dragon instantly down. But I feel like the berserkers are going to do some good work over here. Not sure if we can take out those executioners at the back. But, like, that archer brigade definitely cost more than we spent to beat it. Wow, there's, like, one, like, little little kicking person doing pretty good. Uh, no idea what the Huachar did. I'm gonna guess. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, there is, like, a vamp in our lines. Right, we've got, we've got, like, a good start. The... Not sure if you were actually worthwhile. I think maybe you got shot. Maybe. Just more archers. Let's see how that looks. Uh... Okay, so the dragon lived a little bit longer. Oh my god, wow, he flamed the archer horde. That's pretty good. Okay, most of the skellies are dead. Wow. Okay, that was the rogue dragon. Um... My god, they killed them. Like, that dragon just, like, flamethrowing into the archers really sped that whole, like, whole party up. The treasure battle. You arrive in the icy wastes and meet the pirate queen and her army. It was her who stole the treasure from the town and paid the guards and hired the people to kill you. She's enlisted the help of the ice warrior clan to destroy you. Lay waste to her army and grab that treasure. So what is her army? Right, shouters and pistols on the flanks. There's bards, boats, cannons. Oh my god, look at this supreme badass. The chunkiest Ula ever. God, they've got like a real mix of stuff. Uh, cannons and clams at the back. Oh, we do have our own like little fighting force. There's some spears, some swords, some snacks. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of, kind of into that. What is the plan? Well, well we're just gonna like test the water to begin with. I just wanna just test the water. 20 jousters. Let's just see how the horses do. Uh, they don't worry too much about the berserkers. God, Ula's actually kind of bad, bad for their health. Ooh, okay, but he froze himself. The... Oh, that horse took a cannibal straight to the head. That is a bad day for everyone. Like, you do not want to be shot in your head. Uru is still standing in the middle. The Cav have kind of done a lot of damage. But I've seen the clams coming. I don't know if we're ready for the clam wars. God, it's that Ula. He is bad news. Oh, there's like a rogue Minotaur. Okay, right. The Cav. The Cav was fun. I don't think it's done quite enough work to justify 20 units of cav. Oh yeah, and there's a pirate queen who we are not going to be able to deal with. Brace yourselves. They're coming. This clam's upside down. Friend. Ooh, it just bit him in the knee. Ouchie. Ouch. Oh, they like have rogue minotaurs. Wait, are they... Oh, it's my minotaur. It's a mine at all, not a yawn at all. <laughs> oh, got him, coach. Dab on him! <laughs> Tanks are fun. And let's get, like, teachers. Teachers are, like, pretty legit swords, swords people. How does that sound? Okay, they got shouted away. Very bad. Right, you want to harpoon my bomb on a stick? I'm fine with that. Bring it on. Uh, okay, the boats are bad. Okay, some explosions happening. Pretty good. Okay, most of the bombs on sticks got killed before they could explode. That feels bad. Uh, the teachers have just got absolutely murdered. Tank's doing okay. Not amazingly. Ula's very good against the tank. Uh, if he hits. Oh my god. Are they... Oh. <gasps> Come on, take out Ula. He is like the closest threat to you. Man, look at Da Vinci in there. He is pretty cold. Oh, Ula's not dead, but he is knocked back. Okay, one of the cannons is down. Man, these tanks have done real good work. Not quite sure what happened to their pirate queen. Is she in here somewhere? Did she get frozen? Oh, there she is. 
Oh my god, Pirate Queen, please. No idea what happened to her. I'm guessing cannonballs? Did we just luck out? We didn't even spend all the points. This was me just doing like a little test run to see if we could get close to like if any of the units were doing any good work. We had like almost like 6,000 points left. Like that was a win. All they had was a cheerleader left with a, a thing. But just give them the musket line as well. I want to keep an eye on their pirate queen. Maybe we got really lucky. I think there's a good chance that luck was involved. Like, that pirate queen normally is like a stone cold killer. Oh, okay. A tank is down. Man, no idea what happened last time. Or are the, um... Okay, no, the teachers aren't fantastic. Okay. Ula still doing a lot of damage. Man, we we spent like an extra like 5,000 points and we could still lose this. Okay. No, we won't. No, we won't. We've got this. There's snakes, there's minotaurs. Oh, Ula still stands. But he is busy fighting snakes. And there's a gigantic gun line waiting. Just a single good volley. And he goes down. Uh, oh, he did not have time to make his death haiku. Well done, Tom. Thanks for playing, Tom. Bam, thank you for making that map. What a fun campaign. If you guys want to make campaigns as well, hit me up. Uh, okay, so like, yeah, if people want to make, make campaigns or something, make missions, and you're like, I really want it to be played. I'm going to give you like a couple of little tips. Tips on what I like. Like, number one, have like an interesting interesting setup. I, uh, number one, actually, use a circle. Use um, a different bit of the map. Uh, put the lines somewhere. Have the forces mixed up. Then number two can be get interesting forces. Ang angle. Time. Fun. Battle. Give it a, num a fun name. That's number C. B. Uh, three. <laughs> Jesus. If you're going to put a budget in, I'd say test it first. Give it a nice little story. Let Josh have some fun. Uh, you know, putting things in. If you put a lot of, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings references, I know he likes Lord of the Rings, so that's always good. Frodo and um, Sauron are friends, and they must fight the tanks from World War II. Bonus points if you don't spend some money or use ranged great but i genuinely do love love people making these like campaigns these maps and uh, it's a lot of fun to play through them maybe i'll maybe i'll make a campaign maybe we'll do a video on that and then let everyone else play it bad bad map uh there you go have a go why not upload successful until next time everybody goodbye who i designed by to ula <laughs> I did very well today with my big beefy, beefy bits. I hope you enjoyed the video and my accent, which is changing hard and fast, just like Ula's axes will change you to ice. Maybe. Uh, keep up the good work and don't forget to put a comment below.